what's going on? Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com. Just had a question about the step editor in the machine, too. I'm not going to really go too long on the step editor because this one's pretty much like 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. Um, for example, here I am on the arranger button, plug in arrange. I'm using the drum synth from the last video. Uh, right here, you see the pattern. Your scenes are located here, okay? I'm under events. So let's say, for example, I wanted to use the drum synth, for example. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll hit step mode here. Again, you got to have your pads select the first. You know, there's a hi hat, there's none. So whatever you're going to use, so I'm going to use this one, for example. You hit your pad, you have a step mode button right here. You hit that. All right. Once you hit that, you're in step mode. You notice that your positions here, length, pitch and your velocity shows up here so let's say if i wanted this on you know kind of like on beat one beat two beat three beat four beat you do it like that i hope you guys can see it over there because it shows up there and you know when you're selecting your events you can see right there there's the uh the scrubber or i can use this guy right here and scroll through of course you have your velocities here let me get my hand out of the way you see me adjusting the velocity on that at least I hope you can see that. So again, that works the same. If you saw the last video on the drum synth, watch that video. You see how you can adjust your velocities. So basically, it's going to play just like the other uh, machine did. It's just going to go kind of like this here when I hit the play button. So that's pretty much how that works in a nutshell. I mean... I can't really think of an easier way to explain it. Um, other than, don't forget, you have different options in here like length. You see how much the length on that guy on the end right there. So that's pretty much how that works. That event button not locking in is driving me crazy. <laughs> if you saw my last video, every time I hit the event key here, it's right above the erase button. I lock it in. But for whatever reason, I got to keep going back and hitting this button. I got to put my mic down and go to, uh, but, uh, yeah, if I go to, uh, one, one here, you have what's basically in your event menu, your selection where it starts and ends for your multi position. So if I highlight all these, just one, that's one. Okay. If I do them all like this here, then go to multi event. I can move them like this here. So if you're on your uh, your step sequencer, though, you know, you might not want to mess with that too much because it might it might throw you off. But it's pretty much how it works, you know, and if you want to adjust the length of your notes and things of that nature. And if you move them around, let me get like this here. See how it's moving like that? You know, so that could be handy when you you need something in a certain spot in the track. So let's Yeah, so you guys get the idea. Like I said, I'm not going to go through that too much. The step sequencer is probably one of the more or less easiest things uh, to learn on a machine. All right, so that's pretty much it. Your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Be sure to come by the website. We have a VIP membership. It's $9.99 with no monthly fees. We do free machine tutorials. We have free monthly drum kits and things of that nature. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Need weapons for your lab? Get industry standard professional drum libraries, free machine tutorials, machine expansions, and more. and more. Keep it locked to www.vipsoundlab.com.